what is going on welcome back to the channel all right special video for you all here today we are going to be doing challenges with tesla's new auto park and then we're going to test out the self-driving a little bit here in this video so start off by looking at how you can select based on your surroundings what parking spot you want and basically all you do is pick the spot by tapping on it and then once you figure out which one you want you just hit start and now let the car park itself so what it does is using the cameras it aligns you with the with the lines on the floor and it will park for you so if you have trouble parking or if you know you can't park this is definitely something for you personally I just like to see my car park itself it's a super cool feature this is gonna take me years to get over to be honest I know a lot of people think that oh I've seen Audis do this back in 2017 or Volkswagen had this in 2012 well Tesla had this a long time ago too but mm -hmm. in this version they switch from sensors to cameras so it's actually acting a lot different all right, so you saw how amazing it did at parking. Now I'm just gonna let it drive us around and see what it does from this park position. Right now I've got nothing in the nav here. I just wanna test it out in these business parks in a real life situation with cars coming, people out and about. This is my lunch break right now. So we're just doing a quick test around the neighborhood here. And uh, we're gonna let FSD do all the driving and even routing. So let's just see where it takes us. So nice job making a perfect stop at the stop sign, analyzing all the intersection junctions over here and crossing through perfectly. And let's see here if it knows how to get out of this little business park. And it does actually. And notice how it even respected the stop sign that was written on the ground. Notice this guy coming in on my left and now again made a perfect left turn and now is deciding to go right. All right, so I'm just kind of playing around with FSD here to see how it acts in these situations and what all it's gonna do. So now it's deciding to make a left. This is gonna be a bit more of a difficult left here. But nice job approaching to the stop sign. Overall, just patient driving it displays. And right now, I would consider FSD to be a more patient driver than any human on the planet. All right, and I know that's pretty harsh to say, but people are not patient. Let me tell you, I'm not the most patient myself. I, I try to be, but when it comes to patience levels, FSD and the computer is just a lot more patient than humans. To be a good driver requires patience. So therefore, FSD already has a huge leg up in its patience levels. It's gonna take exact maneuvers going into the lane, maybe might take, um, maneuvers that you might not have um you know maybe you know it's okay to kind of swerve through and do whatever but fsd wants to execute everything with perfection and here we go making a right turn as the truck was coming look how it stayed in its lane and did a really good job overall as soon as i touched the the ipad here it yelled at me beep saying kind of pay attention to the road and nope I still have not got 12.4 yet this is 12.3.6 steering wheel nag is still here but hopefully going away soon all right so what we're gonna do is try to um, take this over to a charging location right up the street here I'm gonna let FSD try to figure it all out on its own and we're gonna test out look how it decided to stop with the yellow light and 99% of the times it always stops on yellow lights but if it can calculate that it can make it through it will go a few times I've had it go on yellow lights where I probably wouldn't have done it but FSD knew that it could like time it and anytime that you see it going on a yellow it it, it like always crosses the line before it turns red so somehow it's got that 
programmed in there. I don't know if that like is information that's being translated or how it determines that, but yeah, it does a really good job about that. And nice with the spam calls always coming in to check in. And so we are looking to make it into the Dulles Mall Town Center over here, which is like our local shopping mall. They got some free chargers. I usually try to see if they're available at my lunchtime. And if they are or aren't, it's really all good, but I just like to see if I can grab maybe 10, 15% juice. And let's see, I think we gotta make a right up here, but look at this truck pulled over. FSD sees that and waits to go around it. And now it wants to make a right, right into the location where I asked it. And here we are getting into the Dulles Mall. So far there has been no accelerator presses in this entire video. FSD has done all the driving. Now it does treat this a little bit. Oh no, it actually proceeded without stopping. Wow, look at that. It didn't treat it as, I thought it would treat that as a stop sign, but the sign says proceed without stopping and FSD did just that. And yeah, as you can see, no takeovers in this video whatsoever. FSD did all the driving. The computer is super alert and it's getting better as we go. And if you haven't tried it yet, um, definitely consider that $99 a month subscription. It's becoming more and more apparent how worth it that is. Uh, especially if you didn't make, look how it stopped for this person. What an amazing job stopping for that person that was already on the crosswalk. I love how FSD stopped. And um, yeah, I'm finding that it's really worth it. So here we go with the two Volta chargers. And of course they're both taken since there's only two free ones. There's usually a lot of Teslas parked, just two other white Teslas parked right there. And yeah, so FSD did a really wonderful job. I'm gonna have to accelerate through this now because it made it to my destination. But watch, as soon as I take over, as long as you're driving under seven miles per hour, the parking spots will show up for you. So then again, you can pick whatever spot you want and just let FSD do its thing. It's gonna use the camera system make a trajectory on what it's trying to do detect your surroundings and based on all that just uh epically park for you and yeah again if this is like something that you have trouble with you definitely want to consider fsd if you don't you know fsd comes more into play for you in you know driving you know you don't have to use it to park every time if you think it's just cool to see your car park itself then by all means yeah it's awesome but if you don't have trouble parking you might find yourself using FSD on the roads more than just for parking but if you pay for it it comes with both so yeah let me know what you guys think about this drive hit that like button if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this i really appreciate it thanks again for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day